Hi, welcome back. My name is Rikang. In this series of sessions, we're going to look at HANA Cloud product as part of HANA Cloud services. The previous sessions, we were looking at Access Classic and Access Advanced as part of HANA on-premise version. In this series, we're going to look at HANA on cloud. Let's take a closer look at the cloud options for HANA. Initially, SAP offered HANA as a service in Neo environment. In this environment, um, SAP HANA is available uh, up to SP12 of 1.0 version. It only has Access Classic as an application server, and it, it uses HANA Studio or Eclipse as the development tools, uh, of course, with the repository of HANA Classic. And then, HANA as a service is available on Cloud Foundry environment. In this environment, we have HANA Database 2.0, and also the Cloud Foundry runtime, which is very similar to Access Advanced runtime on on-premise. The customers who wanted to get HANA 2.0 version, uh, the only way for them is to go with HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry. For the customers who wanted to upgrade from 1.0 to 2.0, then it is to be an upgrade from Neo environment to Cloud Foundry environment. It's not a, a simple upgrade or migration. It involves manual uh, creation of objects in Cloud Foundry environment. What is changed now is HANA is offered as HANA Cloud product, and it is similar to HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry, including the Cloud Foundry runtime and also the database capabilities, which are uh, 2.0 onwards. And HANA Cloud is a successor to HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry. So for all the new customers who are uh, taking HANA software on cloud, it is going to be HANA Cloud. It is completely native to uh, cloud infrastructure, and eventually the customers who, who are using Cloud Foundry uh, HANA as a service will upgrade to HANA Cloud product. So the, for the customers who are on Neo environment, they can upgrade directly to HANA Cloud product to avoid a two-step upgrade, which is to Cloud Foundry environment first and then to HANA Cloud and it reduces uh, time and effort uh, uh, to do this. Again, there is no uh, standard migration tool to do any of the upgrades or migration from Neo to Cloud Foundry or to HANA Cloud product. It has to be done manually for the most of the upgrade part. That's about the positioning and uh, product availability of HANA Cloud in SAP's uh, cloud infrastructure. Okay, now what we're going to do in this series of sessions, we're going to start with setting up a cr cloud trial instance. It's free and we get both license as well as infrastructure. Uh, it's valid for 30 days. And we're going to uh, get the services for Business Application Studio and also Web IDE for HANA or Web IDE full stack. And also administration tools like HANA Cockpit and DB Explorer service as well to take to take a look at the runtime objects and to uh, see the data preview and etc. And later we also uh, take a look at HDI administration access scenarios of um, HDI containers and integration with GitHub as part of source control um, and deployment of the objects uh, using um, command line tools of CF Cloud Foundry environment. Let's start with the um, HANA Cloud trial setup in today's session. Setting up a HANA Cloud trial is a very simple process. What you just need to do is to go um, to HANA Cloud Trial website, just choose free trial of HANA Cloud. It's going to ask you to set, start your free trial now. And then um, uh, if you're new to SAP ID uh, forums, 
then you may have to register with the email address. Any personal email address should be fine. Uh, but I, since I already registered, I have a uh, existing account, so I'm going to start using login. You can have an SID or PID, whatever the ID you are using. I entered my ID and then just say continue and give the password. It's asking for welcome to free trial and then click here to start your free trial. And say, I acknowledge the terms and conditions, say accept it. So I'm going to uh, access Cloud Platform Cockpit. I'm going to choose um, US East. That's my region. So I can create an account. It's going to spin up an account for me. I'm going to get a global account and sub account. And it also creates a default organization and space. It's going to take a while and I'm just going to trim this uh, processing, get there. And setup is completed and then I'm going to say continue. And then I'm in the uh, Cloud Platform cockpit and I can enter uh, to my trial account. So you can see that it is valid for 30 days. And then I I see that um, it's provided is Amazon. I am going to click on my trial account, my trial organization. And then I can see that the space, the default space created uh, is dev here. I can create multiple spaces. I'm going to just use the existing or default space created by system. Let's take a look at the entitlements for my account. So I'm choosing entitlements. In this entitlements, I can look for HANA Cloud um, service. So you can see that I have got HANA Cloud um, and also the data lake. I also have the other service called uh, schemas and HDA containers. So they, as for the container uh, design time artifact creation and deployment purpose. If I don't find my services or for HANA Cloud and HDI schemas, what I'm going to do is going to go to the configure entitlements and add service plans, and then look for um, your service plan, search for HANA, and then get the HANA Cloud. And then you're going to see the available plans and you can add them to your entitlements section. Since I have got all the services needed, so I'm not going to add any new uh, service here. We're just going to cancel this one, cancel it, and then go. Okay, now I'm going to access, um, uh, now I'm going to create an instance for HANA Cloud. For that, I'm going to access my space. So I'm going to go to my organization and access my default space, which is dev. And in the space, I'm going to uh, create a service instance. Since I have already uh, got a um, navigation to create an instance for HANA Cloud, I'm going to use it. Or I can choose service instance and find HANA Cloud and create an instance for. Since I have got this one already here, I'm going to choose this one. And then say create instance. I can give HANA Cloud as the instance name. And the password is going to be for the administration user. So it's not a system user uh, for HANA Cloud. Uh, the system user is removed and the DB admin is going to be the super user uh, given by SAP. So this is the password for DB admin. I'm going to set up that. And then next, and then the memory uh, for this HANA instance is 30 GB. You can increase up to 45 and then three CPUs and the storage is 160 GB for the disk. And then say step three. And this is an optional um, feature, data lake. If you wanted to enable, 
um, you can do so. But right now, I, I don't need it, so I'm just kidding, um, not enabling it. So that's step four. I'm going to allow all IP address current because this is a trial version, this is going to be okay. And script server, I don't need a script server right now, um, uh, so I'm not choosing it. I'm also uh, cloud database, not enabling the cloud database to connect on premise remote sources. And say create instance. It's going to take a, a while um, to create an HANA instance for us, HANA cloud instance for us. You can see the memory 45 GB and three CPUs with a storage of 160 GB. So this is uh, your personal own um, um, application given to you. Okay, now I can see that um, the instance is up and running. So I can also see um, a stop um, button here. If you wanted to stop the instance, uh, when you're not using this system, you can do so. Um, I also got an open in uh, HANA Cockpit as well as Database Explorer. So I'm going to choose HANA Cockpit so I can uh, use this HANA Cockpit for administration activities, creating users, uh, some of the maintenance activities which is supposed to be done at um, by us. So I'm going to need the login credentials. So I can say that DB admin is the username and the password is the one I gave. It accepted and I, I got into um, the, the, the HANA cockpit for the HANA cloud service. If we're going to look at the uh, the different options in HANA administration in a later video. So I'm going to choose uh, go back to go back to the HANA cloud instance. Also have the open in database explorer and this is the place um, the runtime activities of HANA instance can be performed. So you can uh, invoke a SQL console and you can also um, access the uh, schemas as well as HDI containers uh, as runtime objects. So I get here and then I can I can see that my database is uh, automatically automatically configured here. I can see that the, the, the catalog objects and as which are runtime I can invoke a SQL console here and then write SQL syntax to, to get the required operations done. Now let's go back to the cloud instance. So that's from the administration and also the runtime um, access perspective. Uh, how do we do the development? So we're going to need a development um, tool. In this case, for the most of the scenarios for application development, we use Business Application Studio. And uh, that's going to be the new development tool for HANA Cloud product. Uh, but still, for me, some for some of the reasons, for some of the objects creation, like calculation views and uh, flow graphs, we still don't have uh, Business Application Studio uh, uh, features to accommodate that. So for time being, uh, we're still going to need a Web IDE full stack or Web IDE for HANA to do those objects creation as part of design time. So let's take a look at how we're going to access um, Web IDE for HANA, which is available as part of trial version. You can also access Web IDE full stack that's, that's currently available on Neo. So I don't want to switch uh, back to new environment where I will access similar product called Web ID for HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry environment. In my sub account, I'm going to go to subscriptions 
and then look for web ID E. So I got here web ID for HANA. It's not subscriber. I'm going to say subscribe it and it's processing it. And it's subscribe now. I can go to application. It's going to launch um, web ID for HANA or web ID. It's going to launch Web ID for HANA application for me. Alternatively, I can use Business Application Studio as well. But um, right now, since my objective is to do a more modeling activities, I'm going to use Web ID for HANA um, in this series. So you can see uh, the dev workspace. So you can start creating um, MTA or DB modules, DB projects, or uh, you know cloud application programming um, templates as well. So in the next session, we're going to start creating um, some design time artifacts like tables and views. We also uh, get some data into those objects, and then we also build the uh, the the containers, HDI containers into the runtime database. Thanks for watching for detailed training on HANA Cloud. Uh, you can reach out to me at sorumpalli at gmail.com. Thank you.